I've always wondered if the watts generated indoors are equivalent to the ones generated outdoors, especially when there's so many different variables to think about. The power meter in your trainer could be reading differently to the power meter you use out on the road. You can't stay as cool indoors as you can outdoors, and you can't move the bike around in the same way, which may hinder your ability to hit as high a peak. So I've decided to put this to a rudimentary test by doing two 20 minute tests, one indoors and one outdoors, and then comparing the data. To cut down on the possible variables, I'm going to use the same power meter in the form of the new Wahoo Powerlink pedal system. I've got a Wahoo headwind fan here, which will help keep me as cool as possible. And I'm going to be using the Wahoo Kicker Roller Trainer to help generate that same ride feel I'd experience outdoors. So first things first, I need to get warmed up. Okay, so I'm gonna give myself 20 minutes to warm up to really settle into it. While I do that though, I'm gonna talk you through my setup because I doubt most of you have seen it before. Now, like I said earlier, I'm running those new Wahoo Powerlink pedals, which have got a number of really cool features. One of which being the rechargeable battery, which gives you 75 hours of ride time. We've got plus minus 1% of accuracy, so it's a really accurate system. We've got a claimed weight of just 276 grams for the dual-sided pair, which is pretty good going. They're overall ring compatible. We've got temperature compensation, so no matter where you are in the world, they're going to be giving you an accurate reading. Now, they're all controlled via the app, and of course, they've got AMP Plus and Bluetooth connectivity. Now, anyway, I'm going to finish my warm-up, I'm going to crack on with the FTP, and we'll see what the results come out like. Okay, so we ended up doing a 200 watt 20 minute test, something I'm pretty disappointed with, but shouldn't be surprised that given my current form and the lack of winter training. So I'm gonna have a small break, refuel, rehydrate, head onto the roads, and we'll do it all over again. I won't lie, that was very hard and that headwind was pretty brutal. But I did say I wanted to stay cool, so you've got to be careful what you wish for. I haven't had a chance yet to upload my ride, so I'm going to do that and then we'll have a little chance to take a look at what the FTP was. So we'll just get this uploaded and beamed across to the Wahoo app. Here we go. Okay, perfect. So, wow, this is saying my FTP is 220 watts. So we've got a near 10% increase. Now, I think that can be down to a couple of things. And I think staying cool is one of them. Having a fan indoors is really helpful, but nothing beats the outdoors. I think it's also just being able to move the bike around. When you can really throw it around, you can reach a higher peak. So I think that's also helped. It might be easy to assume that you can achieve a higher power indoors because you can control the environment and you're not having to stop for junctions or anything else like that. But what actually, what's really good to know is that these numbers can be completely relied upon because I've used the same bike and the same power meter for both tests. So that's what's really handy and it makes having a pedal-based power meter system a really valuable tool. I think we've got to come back to that original question though of are indoor watts the same as outdoor watts? And yes, the watts are the same, but the conditions in which they're generated, that's what's going to differ. So if you want to track progress, keeping everything the same, then indoor training is going to allow you to follow your progress. But if you really want to know what you're capable of and how high those numbers can go, then you want to be looking at the numbers that you're doing outdoors. So I think this is why it's really crucial to use the same power meter, both indoors and out, because then you know that the differences are down to the conditions and also what you're actually capable of putting out. Because when you use the same power meter, you know that you can rely on the numbers. And for me, using the Wahoo Powerlink pedal system has just been really handy for that. So if you've enjoyed the video, drop it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, and we'll see you again very soon.